Hey everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. The top right corner of the menu bar has always been a useful location for Apple and third-party apps to provide quick access to various settings and options. If, like me, you've been using your Mac for a while, it's likely you have a whole host of different icons displayed here. You can move these around into some kind of order simply by holding down the command key and dragging each icon. If you find that your menu bar is too cluttered, you can remove many of the Apple system icons by holding down the command key and dragging the icon off the menu bar and onto the desktop. You'll notice that an X appears and letting go of your mouse button will remove the app from the menu bar. If you want to go through the list of Apple services that have access to the menu bar, open settings and click on control center in the menu. Here you can set which apps should always show on the menu bar, never show, and only show when in use. Further down the list, you can make sure that the menu bar is always visible, even when an app is full screen, by changing this setting to never. There are some Apple menu icons that won't appear in this list, but you may like to add them to your menu bar, such as the ability to turn on game mode. You can find these hidden menu icons by opening Finder, clicking on go to folder from the menu, and typing in this address, forward slash system, slash library, slash core services, slash menu space extras. Double clicking on any of these will add them to the menu bar. Finally, many of the Apple icons will offer you additional information when you click on them whilst holding down the option key. So for example, clicking on my Wi-Fi icon tells me which network I'm connected to. However, if I hold down the option key and click on the icon again, now you can see I have a whole lot more information, such as my IP address, current network speed, and the MAC address. It's the same for Bluetooth. Here's what I see without the option key held down and now with the option key pressed. If I hold down option and click on the date and time, it activates the do not disturb focus mode, which prevents me from receiving notifications whilst it's enabled. To turn it off, I simply click on the icon and there you have it. So that is how to customize the menu bar on Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And here's how to add your iPad as a second screen and an easy way to add spaces to the dock to organize your apps into groups. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.